Welcome back to Small Bee Acres. In today's episode, we are attempting to build some bee swarm. What are they called? Swarm? Swarm traps. They're called swarm traps. We're trying to build some swarm traps. So I've got an expert on swarm traps and an expert on beekeeper. And I'd like to introduce you to Pete. Pete, come join me over here. Welcome. Hi. So, uh, have you ever been on YouTube before? I was on YouTube in a dream one time. Nice. Okay. So, I heard that you are all about keeping bees. So, I would love to have your expertise. So, I'm hoping that you can give me a hand here. We're going to be building these swarm traps and see if we can get some free bees for the wee bees. Let's do that. Okay. So, what have you got in mind? What are we doing? We're going to be building the swarm traps and we're going to be building the hives at the same time. So right now we're going to work on the framework for the hives, see how far we can get with that. And then we're going to also work on the swarm traps. Where's my coffee? Where's my coffee? Can't lose my coffee. What kind of width are you trying to get there? Three quarters by an inch and a half. So we'll do a shout out for these hives and swarm traps. You can find them on horizontalhives.com. Dr. Leo Shrashkin, he uh, puts these plans out there for free. His father told him they worked so good you should patent them. He said, no, I want everybody and anybody to be able to have these plans for free because that way people can get into beekeeping with lower lower costs for the bees because you can trap them for free and then when I first got started I spent well over a thousand dollars always going and purchasing swarms or uh, sorry um, nukes and so at two hundred and thirty dollars a piece that adds up pretty quick yeah let's uh, Go over there, we'll cut some boards over there first. Am I yelling? I got earplugs in, so I might be yelling. I can't bit. tell. I got earplugs in too. Oh. So yeah, just adjusting this so that if there's anything sticking over that it's not gonna flop around on us. And so you might be saying, how hard is it to keep bees? I would say to you, I'm dropping stuff. I would say to you, if I can keep bees, then anybody can keep bees. Because uh, I think the first thing is you just get into it and go ahead first, dive in, and then once you do that, you just kind of get the get beekeeping in your blood, and it's just it's fascinating and. I can open up a hive and just spend a lot of time in that hive and I never get sick of it. It's, it just fascinates me how these things, these creatures can work in the dark and build all of this and then produce this amazing honey. Cut this to 35 and 9 sixteenths. Did I get that right? So 35 and 9 sixteenths. So we're just going to cut the end off so that it's square. Our template right there. While Pete's doing that, I'm going to start ripping these down. I'm supposed to bring these down to three quarters, so he wants three quarter inch strips. I'm just going to cut the edge off here, make them nice and square, and then we'll start putting them at the corner.
Well, it's been a few days and we're back to making our beehives here. So we got, I invited Pete back and so he's going to be telling you what we're doing here. Hello. If you enjoy these videos as much as I do, please like and subscribe, hit the notification button and share with other people. Uh, just from hanging out with Jake for a little bit, knowing how much time it takes to record all of this, and it, it takes a lot of time away from getting the project done, but uh, Jake and Tina, they enjoy this, so like, subscribe, hit the notifications, and share with others. So as we're getting started here, we're ripping some plywood for the walls of these beehives. We're gonna be building the frames out of two by four lumber. And so later on, Jake's gonna share a link for, it's called Long Hives, if I remember correctly, it's longhives.com. It's Dr. Leo Shreshkin, probably not, I'm butchering his name, but uh, he shares these free plans to build beehives and um, these are really good hives so that you don't Jake's not gonna have to bend down lift up heavy boxes he'll just be able to manage it from uh, the same height as what your kitchen counter would be so that uh, uh, both of us aren't getting any younger so we need to be watching our backs speak and, for yourself and our shoulders but uh, yeah Jake's young at heart you can see him in the videos he's always playing around with stuff. So let's get back to work. Let's do it. Just marking the pieces. If you go to horizontalhives.com, you'll find all these free plans on there. And so right here, these are the pieces right here that I'm marking. And a little bit of sawdust later. 
think we're ready to assemble these hives. Jake makes it look, e look very easy. Let's build. We just finished supper. Now we wanna to try to assemble these things. So we did all the cutting. As you can see, we have a whole bunch of cut ones here. Got the, got the plywood all lined up here. Got the M's and the X's and the K. B's, A's, got all of them. Get it, B's. Oh, that's literally just a letter B. So we got it all ready to go. Labeled up. Got them labeled up. Got some glue happening right here. We're gonna see if we can put some of these together. Okay, stapler. You want glue? Oh yeah. Is there another one? Do you have a different one? Yeah, wait, there's another one there. the next one there. Uh, this one here. This one? This one? Yeah. Okay, that's going to go on the outside. It's up against the right these. Direction. What's that? That would face in the right direction. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That just didn't look right to me. finish today we still have to put the lid on we still have to build the frames but it's insulated and it's ready to go and I'm excited to give it a shot I'm gonna do some painting on the outside but for today that's enough so we'll have to have to come back to see that for part two we'll finish it up and get it ready for the bees thank you very much for watching and hope you enjoyed this video and until next time God bless <laughs>